Um, credit is money that is lent to you. And I think a lot of people, it, it's a, a really basic thing. You know, whenever talking about any sort of uh, finances or economics, I think it's important to start with the absolute basics. And credit is money that is lent to you. Whether you're taking a loan or using a credit card, and obviously we're going to talk a little bit about credit cards today. You have to pay it back over time, okay? That's what a loan is. When you're lent money, you pay it back. If you don't pay it back, it becomes something other than a loan, okay? And you've got to pay interest on it. Right? In some of the other modules that we talk about, uh, budgeting and saving, uh, we talk about the, the concept of interest, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it here today, but it gives you the ability to buy something now and pay for it later. Credit is a very useful tool, and it's something that I think people, you know, and we'll talk about the risks of credit as we go through this, but credit is something that you shouldn't shy away from. It's just something that you want to make sure you understand. Uh, all the facets of before you get yourself into it. Um, your ability to get credit is based on your borrowing history. And so those are some of the things that we're going to talk about um, as we go through here. And here's where the risk comes into play with credit cards, okay? Whenever you use a credit card, you are, you swipe that card, you just took a loan. That's what it is, okay? The reason credit cards are so dangerous is that's the effort it takes. You swipe the card <laughs> and you got the stuff, okay? It's very different from borrowing money for a car or going to get a home loan. <laughs> I tell you, it's much easier than that. It takes forever. Um, and so it's, it's easily accessible credit that you can just take loans all day long uh, as long as you don't hit your credit limit. So that's something that we look at. It's a credit card. It, it, isn't, it isn't just like taking out a loan. It is taking out a loan. And you're taking it from the issuer of the card. So the short answer to what does a credit card cost is it depends. All right. If what you owe is not paid in full, then you're going to have to pay interest and fees, okay? Finance charges. And this is where it gets kind of complicated with credit cards, um, even to people who are very well versed in finances and economics and all that stuff. Any unpaid balance is where you have to pay the fees, okay? So we're going to talk a little bit about paying the minimum, paying something other than the minimum, or paying the maximum. This is all going to be impacted by that. All right. Yeah. So let's say I have a credit card. Uh -huh. and I go and I swipe it. Let's say I want to buy a pair of shoes. Right. If I just I can just literally pay back the amount of the shoe cost, or does the interest get applied immediately? Great question. All right. We're going to talk about that. That's actually on one of these slides here. The answer is the the interest does not apply immediately. Okay. There is a grace period. So we'll talk about that. Very good question. Um, the finance charges, when applicable, uh, the annual percentage rate. So you hear this all the time on the radio. And it's usually at the end of commercial, and you can barely hear it because they're saying it so fast. You, know, you can get this for only 1% down and all this. Do you have a job? Do you have $100? You know, all that, right? Well, at the end, they're going to say, APR, hey, one of the things that they're talking about is the APR. And you can usually hear that part. What that means is the annual percentage rate, okay? So that goes back up to this finance part, charge. That is the yearly rate of interest, okay? So they... Factor it out over a 12-month period of time. That doesn't mean you need to take 12 months to pay the money back. It's just that's how they base the calculation when they're charging you the interest, okay? And that includes any fees and costs. So, for example, if the loan has a 10% APR, the borrower will pay $10 per 100 borrowed annually. Too. I know lots of people, like my dad, um, who have more credit cards than they do knives and forks in their, their kitchen drawers. And that's something generally you probably want to avoid, okay? The way mine works is the grace period begins on the 20th of each month. If the 20th uh, is a Sunday, then it goes to Monday, right? So what that means is I get the bill. So from the time that you make the purchase, through the grace period, you know, it starts on the, the bill date, through the date that everything's due, there is no cost associated with that. So it's a period of time during which you can pay your balance to avoid the finance charges. Whatever amount that I pay that doesn't reach that $1,000 mark, that's what I'm going to owe the finance charges on, okay? The next question I have is, let's say I get this bill, I owe 1000 and I wait until after the due date, oh, and the interest yes. applies, and I still pay it off completely, is that uh, so, you have just brought another factor in. That is a great question. So, what happens if you forget to pay your bill on time? Well, 
Um, what happens is you learn very quickly never to do that again. Because uh, when you forget to pay your bill on time, you get hit immediately with late fees, right away. And then they start usually tacking on a higher interest rate than they would otherwise have tacked on. And that starts rolling right away. Absolutely under no circumstance, worst case scenario is that you don't pay your bill on time. If you're in a situation where you don't have the money, we'll talk about the options that are available to you. Pay something. You know, if you don't have $1,000, you only have $300, give them $300. Just give it to them on time because that will help you, A, avoid late fees, but B, it'll keep your credit score from being hard. Good questions. Yes? Okay. Um. Like you said, say you take out the thousand dollars on the credit, uh -huh. and during that grace period, the due date is on the fourteenth. Uh -huh. Say you take out another five hundred off the credit card, is the due date still the fourteenth, or do you have another due date? Very good question. Okay, so it goes in cycles, uh, and the the amount due. So right now, for example, if I look at my credit card, I mean, using mine as an example, if I log into my account on the website, it'll say you know due date. February 14th, you owe $1,000. Current balance, $1,200. What's that all about? Well, because I got after the 20th, I spent $200 since then. That's going to get pushed on to the next billing cycle. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, so the, the money that I charge after the statement has been cut and that due date, this now applies to the next statement date. Any purchases after that go on to the next one. So you're not being charged interest interest for those. The minimum monthly payment, and this is where the credit card companies get you, okay? This is where they make all their money. Oh, no, no, $500? Oh, you don't need to give us $500. Just go right on ahead and give us $15. You can have <laughs> that, right? No problem. Sure. Um, whoa, what's this number here? $299. That's like $300. Yeah, that's the interest that you're paying on your $500 TV, okay? How much do you end up paying? Well, $800. How long does it take if you only pay the minimum? Six years.